Hi, welcome to Gad and Dad. I'm Gad. Oh, I'm Dad. Sorry, Thanks. I was dreaming there. Um, we like to go to movies together, we like to talk about them, and now you get to listen. And today's movie is... Wolverine, uh, starring Hugh Jackman, and this is a picture of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Obviously. <laughs> and it's actually X-Men Origin. Origins. Colon Wolverine. Wolverine. And this film, so far as I understand it, which isn't very far, is about uh, a group of mutants on Earth, and these are, these are people who have it, it appear to be ordinary, look like ordinary human beings, but have superpowers. Uh, they can do extraordinary feats, athletic feats that ordinary people can't do, and in the case of Hugh Jackman here, Wolverine, huge sort of blades come out of his hands that he can cut people up with. Uh, and this film is about the early days of this mutant group, and how they interact, in some cases, very badly, and how they, there is an attempt to organize them by an evil American army colonel, Colonel Stryker, to organize them for nefarious purposes. And that's about as far as I can go in explaining this film. That's a pretty good job. Thank uh, you. It, Thank is, you. it is a prequel story. Um, I know that I've seen at least one of the, the previous three X-Men films with you, Dad, That's a few years ago, say. but he doesn't remember no. uh, any of that. His memory's been wiped out by someone else. As people. indeed, <laughs> well, I shouldn't say, I, that would be a spoiler. Actually, then... good point about spoilers. We're just going to have a free-for-all conversation, so warning, there may be spoilers, depending yes. on what you but I, know. It, it wouldn't be clear what's being spoiled, though, to me. But... It was all just a pile of spoil to you, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, well. um, Yeah, I don't think Dad enjoyed it too much. Um, We'll no, get to you later. I'm okay. going to talk first. Yeah, yeah, I should say, by the way, that uh, several, As he people, interrupts me. several people in response to our earlier uh, reviews on YouTube have said that I, it's hard for me to imagine this, but that I talk too much and they want to have less of me and more of my charming daughter and would I please shut up. So I'm not going to say much today. So let's give the people what they yes, want. That's yeah. the most I, think it, you. I think that's appropriate for this film because I think I enjoyed it a bit more and maybe I'm in tuned with uh, the sort of pop relevance of it uh, a bit more than you. Um, I did enjoy it. I was anticipating it not as a crazy X-Men fan, but um, a fan of the genre and a fan of summer movie season, which this one basically kicks off. And uh, the, the trailers looked uh, like they had cool effects and some good casting, and so I was looking forward to it and a little bit dubious that it was going to end up being a bit uh, caca-ish. And uh, I, half of my brain found it a bit cockish, and the other half found it fun. So it was sort of a combination. It's not great filmmaking. No. Um, the story's a bit convoluted. Uh, there's some holes, continuity issues. The acting's not bad. The performances are good. Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. He's already proven um, himself in that role, and uh, he he's the star of the show here, obviously. So I uh, thought he was very enjoyable. Yes. You liked Liev Schreiber? Yeah, Liev Schreiber, who plays uh, the Wolverine's brother, also a mutant, was good. And interestingly enough, the last time I saw Schreiber was in Defiance, when he also played a brother of another central character. It was about brother-brother relationships. So there was an echo, of, strangely enough, of Defiance in this film. Maybe trying to bring a little bit more to your yeah. viewing of this film, uh, but other than that, and Danny Houston, he's Excellent. really great too. So yeah, the the performances were good. Some of the effects I found great. Some a bit on the cheesy side and derivative, very sort of Matrixy shots. Even hearkening to Watchmen, which was out a couple months ago, yeah. sort of a bit of the imagery was and we saw similar Watchmen. to that. How would you compare this film to Watchmen? Because it's the same audience. I Similar think. on kind of... the surface, and definitely the same audience. I just found Watchmen so convoluted, and that was a, a, a film of which I had no knowledge of the backstory, so that might have been part of the problem. Mm -hmm. This one um, I found more enjoyable in that it, it seemed more cohesive, although, I mean, less complicated. It's not a cerebral, multi layered uh, story going on here, so, but it, it was more enjoyable in the sense that I could just lose myself to the more uh, kitschy aspects mm -hmm. of it. I found it, as I say, a bit of a bore, mildly diverting is as best, the best I could give it, except there was one moment I liked, and that's when Wolverine is, a, uh, is spending time as a lumberjack in what purports to be the Canadian North, but I believe is actually New Zealand, um, and as he's busy doing his lumberjack thing, the evil Colonel Stryker appears uh, and says, you must come work for me, and he, he says, no, I won't, and the evil Colonel says, but your country needs you. And Wolverine says, but I'm a Canadian. 
which I thought was. I, I thought that was hilarious. I, well, I wouldn't say hilarious, but it was. It was. I <laughs> liked it. Relatively speaking, and it was all downhill after that, and that was an, early on in the film. Most people who are aware of some of Wolverine's background already knew that he's supposed to be Canadian. Why I don't know exactly, and why Canada can't use a Wolverine, I don't know that either. But anyway, that's the only part I really heard you chuckle. I think I was chuckling quite a bit, maybe in some parts that weren't intended for chuckles, and certainly the ten-year-old boys in the audience were having a whale of a time. There's another good moment. When Wolverine, ah, when Wolverine confronts uh, Stryker and says, who has behaved terribly badly towards Wolverine and the other mutants, and says, before I gut you, tell me, why? <laughs> I, I thought that was a, an, inspired piece of, an inspired piece of script writing. Yes, the script isn't a top line here, but again, not the point. I think that the general target audience will enjoy it. I think it will be very successful. And it's a children's film. Would you agree with that, a children's film? <sighs> PG-13, I know my seven-year-old wants to see it. I'm a bit reluctant about it. There is violence, although of the non-bloody, you know, sterile Comic book sort. Um, no one really and suffers. And I think it's pretty unavoidable. I mean, this film is on the radar of males, of youth, of, of the general public, and people are going to want to see it. It's going to do very well. There's going to be spin-offs, etc., well, etc. On, on you, you say it's going to do very well. It's obviously going to do very well this weekend, this which weekend. is the opening weekend. It'll be number one. It'll probably take in, what, 50, 60 million dollars, maybe? But next weekend is Star Trek, and I, and I would uh, predict to you that this film will disappear right off the radar once Star Trek arrives. Well, both those kind of genre films are the kind that people, if they want to see it, they're going to see it the opening week and they anticipate it, they want to see it as soon as possible, yeah. and then it, it drops off. So it's yeah. all about the opening weekend, and in the summer, each weekend has its its uh, big opener. Yeah. Uh, this is this weekend's, and uh, and next weekend it'll be on to something else. And depending it'll be on to Star Trek. It'll be on to Star Trek. Depending what you think of our review today, you may or may not be one of those people who go to see Wolverine, but next week? Next week we're going to review Star Trek, uh, and we'll post our review very shortly after it formally opens. Uh, and you might want to hear what we have to say, or perhaps not. What I have to say. <laughs> yes, I, I won't say anything. I'll put a bag over my head and that'll be the end of that. Tune in to see that. Tune in, uh, yes, it'll be good.